What's up, my fellow nerds and nerdesses? You clicked on this video, one of two things have happened. Either A, you're on the toilet, bored as hell, or B, which is the more likely reason, you actually like RuneScape, or trying to get into it. If that's the case, you came to the right spot because this whole video is going to be about Tutorial Island, which is the beginning of RuneScape. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the RuneScape website, you're going to put your email in, you're going to set up an account, then you're going to log in and your screen's going to look like this. Down here in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to click on it and you're going to find a name that's available for you. And right now I already have one clicked, so I'm going to hit set name. Then here, you can go to your head, you can customize your hairstyle, you can click uh, male or female, you can change your jaw. I'm a, I'm a bearded brother personally, so I'm sticking with my beard. Because that's just the way I am. Go to your arms, you can change your arms, your hands, then you're going to hit accept after you're done with it. That, you're going to talk to this guy. You go through, he's going to explain about the course from Rune Escape. Then you're going to click this. Apologize if the music was too loud there. I forgot to turn that off personally. So after you do that, you click here. Um, so this main screen right here, this is your how close you're zoomed in, how far you can zoom out, your uh, your dark, your lightness to your darkness. I personally keep it in the lightest. Then here, you click this. It's half a screen, or you can go full screen. Everyone I know goes full screen unless they're trying to watch like a YouTube video while playing RuneScape, which is also fun. You've got um, different stuff here. You can do a toggle, toggle switch, private chat. You go here, you can click this. You can hit shift and drop stuff. After you're done with that, you talk to this guy again. He's going to explain a little bit more. He's going to tell you to go talk to the uh, the fisher. You're going to go out this door. You're going to walk over and you're going to talk to survival expert. Which is going to show you the backpack. Which, this little blinking thing right here, your bag inventory you're going to click on it and you can right click here it's going to be a small fishing net you're going to run over here and you can see these bubbles right over around here or with the one with the arrow you're going to click on it and you're going to catch a wonderful small raw shrimp delicious you add a little bit of broccoli with that some stew and you're all good you're all set for life um so they recommend only catching one, I always catch five. That's just me. Because uh, further down the road, you're going to you're gonna learn your attacks and stuff, and you sometimes need more food for that. After I catch five, you're going to see this little blinking thing. It's going to call your skills bar. Um, this is like right here, you're fishing. That's the one I was working on right now. Every time you fish, like, okay, for instance, right now, if you look at the remaining XP, it's 33. If I click here, and I catch something, you look at it again, it's 23 now. You got three. Uh, you got 10 XP from catching shrimp. Then there's going to be an arrow over here, you're going to talk to her again. And she's going to give, if you look at your inventory, you now have an axe and a tinderbox. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to the tree and you're going to chop it down. This might take a few seconds. Then you're going to move, uh, I'm on a fire, so I'm going to move across, away from a fire. You're going to click on the tinderbox, then the wood, and you're going to make a fire. Then you're going to click on the shrimp and the fire, and you're either going to burn it or cook it. I successfully cooked that one. I cooked that one. And as you can see, right, there's these ones are gold, and this one's dark. That means I burnt it. Or it says in the bottom corner, it says I burnt it. And right here it says you burnt a shrimp. I, I usually try and go for like three good ones. You do it one more time. Then you're going to go through, you're going to drop, drop, drop. I'm going to move this one up here. Then you're going to you're gonna run, you're going to walk over here. See this gate, you're just going to click on it. Then you, this door down here, you're going to click on it. Run down there and you're going to talk to the overweight chef that likes cake way too much.
I'm going to click on him. I'm going to go through, go through. And he's going to give you a pot of flour and a bucket of water. You're going to click on either of them and click on the other. And you're going to have dough or bread dough. You're going to click use and click on the stove. And you officially cooked some bread. If you burnt it, which I don't, I've only burnt it once in my life. If you burn it on a stove, you're just going to go back to him and he'll give you some more ingredients for it. And you're going to do the same thing again. Afterwards, you're going to go through this door. You're going to follow this path. Because you walk the lonely road, the only one room escape will never know. You're going to go through this door. And you're going to talk to the quest guide. And he's and right next to your inventory, there's going to be called a quest list. So this one, all the way from Black Fortress down to X marks the spot, is non-members quests. Then members quests down is all members quests, which members you have to pay for. It's, I believe it's like $7 a month or something. Or it's 1.5 mil per in-game, and you can uh, you can become a member. Which once you get to a higher level and stuff, that's not much money at all. Well, either way, after that, you're gonna click on him. You're gonna talk to him again. He's gonna explain about all the questing and stuff. If you really want to, you can listen to it. I've I've done this so many times; it's not even really funny. Then you're gonna click on this ladder. You're gonna go down in the cave, and we're gonna we're gonna meet up with the the mining, the mining guy. So you're going to talk to the mining instructor. You're going to go real fast, and you're going to you're going to mine one of these um, white ones and one of the copper ones. So this is t a tin, and this one's going to be copper ore. Then what you're going to do is you're, you're going to click on one of these, then the furnace over here. And it's going to make it into a bronze bar. Now, if you really want to, you can keep doing this uh, you back and forth a few times until he says that's enough and you're going to leave. Then if you talk to him again, he's going to give you a hammer. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the bronze bar and click on the anvil right here. And the only thing you can make is a dagger. Now, if you make a dagger, you're gonna you're gonna go over over west or east. My bad. You're gonna click on this gate. You're gonna go through here, and you're gonna talk to the uh, combat instructor. You're gonna go through here, and he's gonna give you. He's gonna show you the uh, your worn equipment right here where it's blinking. You're gonna click on it. Then you have this little suit. You're going to click on that. Then you see your dagger you made. You're going to click on that. It's going to equip it. Now your uh, your melee strength is plus three. Your magic is plus one. Your crush is plus four. Plus two for slash. And plus four for stab. Now you're going to talk to him again. And he's going to give you an actual sword and a shield. You're just going to click on the sword and the shield. Equip them. Then you're going to walk. Oh, my bad. You're going to hit this two cross um, swords, and you got your stab, your lunge, your slash, and your block. So, your stab is, so, right here, stab is going to be all attack. Block is going to be all defense. Lunge is going to be strength. And slash is going to be um, your strength and your attack combined. It's going to be like a 50-50 split almost. After that, you're going to go... You're going to click on the gate. I always bring up my strength personally first. And you're going to attack a rat. This is why I said you want to uh, have a few of these. Because if your, um, your health is up here. You're at 8% health. And uh, if it gets too low, you can click on one of these and heal up. So if you look at here, I'm at 8% health. I'm going to click on this. Now I'm at 10% health again. So I'm all the way stacked back up. Typically, you don't need to do that, but I always do it just to be safe because I've been screwed over with that before. 
they're going to talk to him again. He's going to give you a bow and arrow. You're going to click the, the arrows, click on the bow, and this time you can just click on the, the rat itself, and you're just going to shoot him from the long range. You don't have to be in the gate or anything, which is nice because that's you're not taking any damage. You're just losing the arrows. Then after you attack him with that rat, you're going to run over here, and you're going to click on this ladder right here. Then you're gonna come over here. You're gonna go into the, in, so this little symbol up here is, it's a money sign. So that you know that's the banks. You're just gonna click on one of these windows, and this is your bank. So I'm gonna put everything in there. Then I'm gonna close it. Then this is the toll or pull booth. It's uh, every once in a while, RuneScape will do a uh, a pull. Like let's say they're doing an, a new upgrade, like uh, a new uh, a new boss. Um, they'll say, do you want them to be um, harder, easier? Do you want them to have the, the same mechanics to defeat them and stuff like that? And everyone that plays RuneScape can actually put their own opinions in. And typically, they actually do listen to them, which is nice because a lot of people, a lot of games do not do that. Then you're gonna click on this door afterwards, and then talk to the account guide. Which is going to go through, and then right down here, you've got your account management. So if you hit upgrade, that's going to be upgrade to membership. If you click view benefits, if you look here, you get the three times bigger map versus, uh, if you're a member, you get three times bigger. You get uh, eight extra skills. You get 100 plus quests and 20 plus more bosses to defeat. Plus there's a lot more, like a lot more armor you can get and stuff like that. If you can afford it and you have a job and you can afford it easily without going in debt or anything, totally recommend it. After you do that, you talk to him again. Oh, talk to him. There we go. Go through, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. He's explaining the whole uh, upgrade now member crap. Then afterwards, you're going to click on this door. You're going to go out this door. And you're gonna follow this path to the uh, the chapel, and you're gonna eh, come on, click on him. You're gonna talk to Brother Brace, talk to him, and right next to your uh, your one equipment, it's blinking. You're gonna hit the prayer button, and this is useful because, like, okay, the one we have right now is you click on it, it increases your defense by five percent, which is extremely nice. There's other ones that. Like right here, it inflicts damage nearby enemies if you die. Um, you keep an extra item if you die. But if you look up here, you have uh, a number of prayer. Every time you use it, it slowly goes down. So you got to use them wisely, or you can get prayer potions and stuff like that to up your prayer again. After you're done with that, you're going to talk to him again. And you see this little happy face right here in the corner. You're going to click on that. This is where you can, like, you click add friends, you can type somebody's name in whatsoever, and you can add people onto it, which is nice. Or you can delete friends. After you open that, you can talk to them again. And then exit through this back door right here. And you're going to follow this road, or you can cut through either way. And we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You're going to talk to the wizard. And then you're right here, right next to your happy face. You're gonna see the spells book. These are the different spells you can do at your level right now. Which so you got your home teleport. Which after you get into the actual map, um, no matter where you are, you can click it, and it'll tell you back teleport you back to Lumbridge, which is where you're gonna pop up when you're after you're done with the Toriel Island. You do that every 30 minutes. This is your uh, wind strike. After you talk to him, you're gonna get. Um, more runes, then you're going to click on this, then you're going to click on a chicken. Then you're going to talk to him again. And yes, we want to go to the mainland. And Iron Man. Okay, if this is your very first account ever, I will hands down definitely say do not, do not go Iron Man. It's a pain in the ass for people that are just starting out because there is this thing called a Grand Exchange, 
which if you got something for sale, you can put it in the grand exchange forever, however much money you want, then people will buy it if they want to spend that much money. But if you're an Iron Man, you can't use it. It won't even pop up in the game because Iron Man's are, you got to go out, you got to quest, you got to actually go find the item you want or be able to make it. So for you guys, I would just say go with the option where it says, no, I'm not planning on doing that because you don't want to do an Iron Man for your first account. Maybe later you can make another account and do an Iron Man because it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's more challenging. So this, if you look on my screen right over here on your mini map, this right here is Lumbridge. That's where you're going to first pop out as. Then you're going to talk to him. He's going to say, welcome to Lumbridge, all that good crap. Then right here is going to be your quest list. This is your all your quests again. But it it's... I would level up a little first before you start questing because it's a pain in the ass if for low levels. Um, I'm also, with this YouTube channel, I'm going to go through each non-member's quest, or each free quest. Then um, I'm going to get on my other account because I already have a member's account and I don't really want to pay for two. I'm going to go through all the member's quests, which are a lot more fun because you get more equipment. But either way, if you like this, let me know, comment below. If you hate it, just say, hey, I hate your stinking guts. I really don't care. I just like RuneScape and I want to help people out. Well, either way, thank you. Have a great day.